Thousands of party patrons were left outside a Fed venue early this morning. The Tribe Ignite Fed at the Hazley Crawford Stadium training field failed to ignite for many who were left stranded at the gates when fire officials determined that the Fed was at capacity. Tribe band leader Dean Akin has been unavailable for comment on the matter. Jonathan Chase has more. Hundreds of people were close enough to almost taste the atmosphere inside the premium drinks inclusive event that is Tribe Ignite. But try as they might, these stranded folks couldn't go big people party. Why? Fire officials instructed Fed organizers to close the gates around 1 a.m. for the event, even though well over a thousand ticket holding patrons were waiting outside. A few hundred would-be fetters were trapped between a ticket checkpoint and the entrance to the FET for about an hour when those stuck behind the checkpoint broke free and joined the others at the gate during Marshall Montano's performance. The music stopped for about 20 minutes and Marshall said, it appears we've lost control of the front gate. Angry patrons demanded to get in, but fire officials told them that the FET was at capacity. <laughs> Marshall's performance eventually continued and the crowd at the gate began to thin out around 2.30 a.m. But hundreds still remained at the gates, hoping for a chance to enter. We tried to reach tribe band leader Dean Akin by phone today, but he refused to answer our calls. We received a text message response around 11 a.m. from someone who said they were his personal assistant, who said that he was looking into the matter and was unavailable for comment, but calls continued to go unanswered up to news time. There is no word on whether a refund will be available for patrons who never got inside of the FET. Jonathan Chase, C News.